time until for uh, Moses' time. Yeah. yeah, Abraham was way before Moses. Yeah, so even more, even longer, maybe three thousand five hundred years. Maybe, yeah, yes. Maybe even, you so you tell me, still Paul in the New Testament, in the Book of Hebrews, maintains this that he had no genealogy. He had no mother and no father, and he had this characteristics that is only befitting God Almighty, i.e. No beginning of days, no end of time. So if you were, if, no, I know where you're getting. Wait, wait. Uh, if you were sincere and if you were consistent, you will also worship Melchizedek as God. But do we know Christians who worship Melchizedek as God? Obviously not. So you are not consistent. Once again, my question remains: Show me in the Bible where there is clear-cut, unambiguous statement from Jesus where he claims to be God. So far, you have given every statement by somebody else other than Jesus. The, the verses you showed me in Revelation, the verses you showed me in Isaiah, all these statements were made by anyone, everyone other than Jesus Almighty, Jesus, uh, the prophet, the messenger, the, uh, uh, the, the Messiah. Mean, you're going to have heard this many times, but what about the first, the Father and I are one in John 14? I and the Father are one. He also said, I and the disciples are one. Does it mean they are God? Trust me, my friend, I've come across all this. All these arguments that, that you can, is that a message somebody's giving you? Why didn't you come here and tell him? I don't know what it is. Well, I just ignore it anyway. <laughs> so, the important thing is this. If you're, if you're talking about your faith with your Bible in your hand, I'm assuming you came here prepared? Oh, no, of course Yes? Not. And you know your faith? How about we These are the core doctrines the of your faith, which I question every single Sunday, as you know already. The reason I question is because I want you to know that the doctrine which you hold to... Your, to are you guys listening? Yes, we are. Yes, which is central. You don't know it. And you cannot... Tell me from the Bible where it is. What does it say about Christianity? That whoever spread this lie about the Trinity, yes, cannot be associated with the Bible. And what, do you, what do you know about lies? About lies? The Trinity is a big lie. Because anyone who claims that God has manifested as three persons, yes, they have to prove it to me from the Bible where God Almighty ever said that he's going to manifest as three persons either in the future or Jesus or any prophet in the New and the Old Testament advocating the Trinity. We find none of this. None. And you see, this is quite important because if this is your central doctrine, I expect Jesus to preach this at least once in the Bible. The fact that he and the other prophets never did proves that they stand by the Muslim standard of the doctrine of the oneness of God, the Jewish standard of the doctrine of the oneness of God, and all the prophets who were non-Jewish, yes, previous to uh, 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 pre previous to even I Isaac, all these prophets never ever claimed that God was anything other than one. So why do Christians make up this doctrine and believe in it and say this is the truth? To me, that is not the truth; it is a lie. To you, it's a lie. I think it's a lie, it unless you can prove it. Why is it a lie to you? I just told you. We're not listening. Bit. You should, part, you should pay attention when people talk no, to you. I uh, and if you do, if you haven't heard it, no, no. If you haven't heard, if you haven't heard it, I suggest you go and look at this video online. This video, yes, because you will learn from this why I called it a lie. Because if no one in the Bible ever advocates that doctrine, and then you claim this is the most important doctrine. Then to me that is nothing but a lie. We don't claim it for the most important doctrine. You don't? We claim the most important doctrine is yes, salvation through Jesus' death on the cross, which again you deny. You know, the salvation through the death of a God is the most ludicrous thing I've heard. You know why? Shall I tell you why? Because the Bible says God does not die. So did you just call him a God? No, I said anyone who claims this is ludicrous. So you're saying he claims to be a God? No, I never said he claimed no, to be a God. We're, we're, I said yeah, anyone yeah, yeah, who God. claims that God died that too by his own creation is the most ludicrous because they do not understand even the meaning of God. To me, God is almighty. But even God can actually not, crush anyone like that if he wants to. But the fact that he was humiliated. You are like, see, that's the whole thing. Even if we were not to claim he was God. See, this, that's why I'm saying this is not the most important question. Oh, so you're telling me. The second wait, most important so you're telling me it's not important. The most important question. Why, Charlie, Please let down. me talk because you're interrupting no, me. No, I'm not. I was talking to you. You interrupted, interrupted me, literally. God. The most important question is, is Jesus or Jesus died on the cross for your and my sin so that we may have salvation. On that point already, 
You lie about the Bible. Or sorry, no, not lie about the Bible. You claim the Bible to be false. I haven't even mentioned. Sorry, I haven't even refuted that. How can you say I lie? I am uh, fine. The lie, the lie which I made the claim I, for. I said lie, lie with false. No, no, I am no. Sorry. The lie which I made the claim for was with regards to the Trinity. I know. Yes. The reason, the reason to you, I meant it's The lie. reason to date, no one has answered the question of where the Trinity is in the Bible, which was or versus preached this, proves to me that this is a lie. Well, the whole Secondly. Bible well, show me anywhere in the whole Bible. So the Bible is not a lie. So the Bible is true. No, no. Show me anywhere in the whole Bible which where the Trinity is advocated. Let's assume. I am not saying. Oh, I'm not saying the Bible is entirely lie. No, assume. I never made that statement. So I may. I gave you the point about Deuteronomy 6:4. Here is Israel, right, your Lord God is the one. Bible, so the Bible is not. There a is a lot of truth in the Bible. Oh, right. I will never make this claim that the, the entire Bible is false. There is a lot of truth in the Bible. Like for example, Deuteronomy 6:4 and Mark 12:29, both of which claim that God is one. Yes, yeah. to me that is not a lie, that is a fact. Because that is exactly what the prophets and the messengers and the early apostles and the disciples preached. None of them ever advocated the Trinity. For you, you're saying that is not the most important point, yes, the Trinity. Can you ever contemplate or conceive the idea that Jesus is God without understanding the Trinity? But that, that does not in any way answer my question about what I believe for me is I wasn't answering thing, your question. Which is I wasn't answering important. your question. Yeah, okay. Then you see, you're not listening. So why do I have to answer you? If you are you not made the me? allegation that I lied about that question you asked, but I was showing you what I told was a lie. What, what I what I claim was a lie was with regards to the Trinity. Now, if you want to, if you Did want me Jesus to, Jesus die on the cross. According to Christianity, yes. According to the Bible. According to the Bible, yes. So you're going to just say the Bible is wrong because you do not believe he died on the cross. Am I right? Shall I tell you why I don't believe he died on the cross? Shall I tell you why? Do I? I'm not quite sure. Okay. The reason I don't believe he died in the cross is because A, number one, my Quran tells me he did not die, nor was he crucified. Okay? Secondly, if you read the Bible, what did Jesus do just before he went to crucifixion? Pray? In the garden. What did he pray? He prayed, please not let it happen. Uh, please let this cup go over me. Yeah. And you're referring, okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm not going to go in, in hospitals. Yeah. You are, are you, have you come across that verse? Sorry, I was not listening. You're again not listening. Right. Is this? John, John 17, yes. Okay. When Jesus prayed, let this cup pass from me. Let it be, thy will be done, not my will. Yes? What was his prayer? What did he mean by that cup? I don't want to go into this. I'm Why? Going to be in this okay. Everything I want to discuss, he doesn't want to go into. I, know, but I no, thought about the no, Trinity no, didn't like that. True. Now I'm talking about the crucifixion. Said, now you're being like that. absolutely rude. How? How? Because you, you said you don't want to go into it. Why? Because there are in-house debates of it, of which even I myself, I'm not entirely sure about. Sorry, sir, but are you 100% sure in all of your theology, in every single small matter, of your belief, are you sure that every single matter, I'm not sure if you're Shia or Sunni, but every single thing that you have been taught is, in an exact manner is correct. And you and your church or whatever is the only one. No, you also- We don't have a church, you by also, the way. Sorry, yeah. But you also have little things which you are not- Why don't you ask me instead of making claims? You're doing this, you're ju very judgmental. I am making claims, You're yes. very judgmental. Presumptuous, okay. yes. Not no, just well, it's semantics here. What I'm asking is this. If it is something to do with my salvation, then Allah says this Quran is Mubin, is something that is clear. Yes? So when it comes to the most important, most significant things, which either send you to, uh, sorry, which is going to either save you or be your damnation, with regards to the salvation, with regards to what is required of my salvation, with regards to my belief and Aqidah, in regards to the salvation, yes, I'm pretty clear. Now, wait, wait. If you are going to ask me, is everything, oh, no, no. every fiqh, every single thing, every atom, every grain in the Sharia is something that I understand clearly, then I'm going to say no. But to me, the most important things are something which are very clear. And to Muslims, that is very clear. You see, Muslims don't go about discussing the Trinity because we don't need to. The Jewish people do not go discussing the Trinity is because they do not need to. The only odd ones are, are the Christians, unfortunately. That's the reason we discuss the Abrahamic faith in this in this part, and we discuss primarily the Christi Christianity because they are the ones who make these claims, which go contrary to every prophet's teaching, to every messenger's teaching, and to God Almighty's teaching. Even Jesus himself, like you said earlier, he said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." So if you go to the way which leads you to God, yes, then that is the truth, and this truth will give you eternal life. I mean, 
salvation. That is what it means. Earlier you said you didn't know what it means. So that is what it means. So read your Bible within context and trust me, not a single verse you'll find or anyone advocating or teaching you about the Trinity. About, wait, with regards to Jesus' prayer in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, was take the cup away from me. Mean, save me from the crucifixion. It could. Of course, if God could, then do it. Not God could, sorry. If God wills, that is a better word because that is the word Jesus used. Let it be your will, not my will. So you see Jesus here is praying. Why is he praying? Remember, he's God to you guys. Why is this God praying to, praying to someone else who is also God? Yes. If Jesus was God, the first question is, why does he need to pray? Because God, you know, the reason people pray is to ask for something that they themselves cannot do or do not have. Am I right? If Jesus is almighty God, then he does not need to pray to anyone. He can make it happen like that. Like Allah says in the Quran, if he wants something to happen, yes. Like if Allah wants to create something, he says, Kun fayakun, be and it is. This is a command of Allah, which, which is what happened to Jesus. He was created by this command. And that is the reason in Islam, this title is given to Jesus as well. He's called the word of God. Yes. The word from God, actually, the word from God. And this is quite important. And we know for a fact that when Jesus prayed this, guess what? His prayers were they accepted or rejected? Was he saved from the cross? See now, because now you've already assumed. No, I'm I asking said, you. No, no, no. I'm you've asking assumed, you. You've assumed when I said it's possible that he was meaning the cross in that sense. What do you think it means? Uh, that's what I was trying to tell you That's what you most about. Christians told me. I know, most Christians would. There is in-house debate about it. Is it meant...